Blah, 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 blah. Okay, everyone. So, we've got a lot, well, I have a lot of crap to do today. So, I'm going to be doing about five videos today, I think. All right. And then, I don't know. And then we got, actually, it might be six. Yeah, because we got, we got Pig Maker version 2.0 coming out later today. So, I need to make sure that I'm start, I'm going to farm it as soon as I get my tokens airdropped. I'm going to immediately do a video update on that, too. So, and yeah, have you seen Sphere? All right, Sphere's really popping off, right? You know, my, my buddy Sim really knows what he's doing, you know? So, it's going to be pretty cool, you know? It's it's insane, all right? You know, how far he and I have come since those Metaverse Pro days, right? Those were those were some dark times. But, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to see that we're actually doing better than Congruent now. So, you know, and not to throw shade at Congruent, but it just goes to show that, you know, Titano Forks really is the best. So far, the best system, right? Tomb Forks, I think, can also still be really good. They just require a lot of uh, innovation right now because there's a because you have to be a lot better with the tokenomics, right? And the whole stupid peg system. So I'm actually gonna eventually. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to write down my sticky notes. I'm eventually gonna write a video. Let me see. Add smart. APR system for Tune Fork Dev. So I'm going to create a video that will also be updated, and I'll put it into my playlist, specifically uh, aimed at Tune Fork developers, quote unquote, because really they don't actually code. Most of them, they actually just go on Fiverr and <laughs> hire those people. I actually verified it myself, so you know, which is fine. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to create a smart APR system dedicated specifically for Tomb Forks, and then that'll be replaced and updated over time as I con continue to refine my smart APR system. Because let's say I become a deca multi-millionaire, especially now that Bitcoin's pushing 45 grand, right? Uh, you know, and I have all this money, you know, maybe I'll create my entertainment company or whatever. You know, I still very much want to, like, create my own little, like, Titano fork and tomb fork you know so but i want like a really good infrastructure for that because i definitely need to have a team like i just can't be everywhere so basically i become like you know the nice version of brando or uh what's the other guy's name harry Yee. all right so it's, it's always us asians that like you know lead the charge and like making a crap load of money and, and then we're like just generally very nice passive people so that's why everyone likes us well except the assholes wanting to punch us on the street but, you know, I haven't, I haven't really kept up with that uh, in a while. So, anyway, we got a lot to go through. So, I've noticed also on my YouTube that, like, uh, obviously, Seifu type projects, you know, get the most views, which makes sense. Uh, but I still very much like Tomb Forks, right? And, you know, I'll, I'll definitely see viewership on Tomb Forks come back up once, you know. Because the real problem is Tomb Forks are just not properly run. They don't have enough people and they, they don't have enough men, right? And they don't do smart APR system. And then they kind of like just panic when things go wrong. And really the problem is the peg, right? You really have to have a situation where you just don't have a stupid peg. Like the peg doesn't even do anything except restrict you. So why have it in the first place? Just look at Printer Financial, right? And to a lesser degree, Code 7, right? There's a reason why they're always far better for foreign than every, one, every other Tomb Fork. So, but we'll save it for that, uh, you know, how to make your Tomb Fork, you know, fly high. So anyway, Aurora is a very new project. Uh, the next one I'm going to do after this video is Web3 because I'm getting this a lot, right? And I think I'm already too late to buy Web3 anyway. So people who bought that pink sale on Web3, you know, you, you clowns basically just did it like a sphere, right? So... That's why I'm not as salty, right? Because I have Sphere, right? I did the whitelist. I'm not going to tell you how much. I'm printing an absurd amount of money, all right? And Sphere is going much higher, right? Because it's basically better than Titano. And on top of it, now that I see Bitcoin flying high, that means everything else is going to fly high too. So what do you think is going to happen to all our, to your, yours and my cryptocurrency positions? We're going to, we're going straight to the, we're, we're going out of the solar system. Fuck Pluto, right? We're going straight to like Alpha Centauri. That's the nearest star system in, in this universe to us. All right. So Aurora uh, definitely has like some hardcore spam, right? Because I literally got last night, got like, you know, 50 trillion like spammers. I had to like report and block them all. But at least it probably worked, right? Because, you know, they just got a lot of people, I guess. 
So anyway, Aurora, you know, definitely has aggressive marking of some kind. And I can't highlight this. And it has this very nice distracting little thing where my mouse curve. Yeah, you can see that. And it pays basically a little more than 383,000, you know, APY. So I'm going to round this up to 383,026. Okay, so it's got your standard treasury. I do want to look at their anti-dump because I do want to try to get these videos out quickly since I got to do so many of them. So I'm going to try not to ramble as much. I love rambling if you couldn't tell. You know, I could talk literally for like, you know, weeks on end. All right. Interest paid, you know, so of course the standard 15 minutes. Buy and hold, blah, blah, blah. And of course, they did have a nice ch touch and go, sh and that button take, took me straight to here. So I didn't, so that was, I really like it when projects provide me the chart. And I personally like Deck Screener now, but I'll take the other charts too. I just like the idea that they have a link to the chart. All right. I, I don't, I really don't know why a lot of projects, especially Tomb Forks, just don't put the chart on the front page. It's like, can you put the chart on the front? All right. There, there's a reason why we want the chart, you know? So it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, so auto reflection. I really hate that term because reflection coins always do poorly. All right, the exception to that uh, are dog coin and Shiba Inu type of coins. All right, baby dog specifically. Blah 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 blah. Okay, there's the contract for Aura. So that's a very nice uh, token symbol. Of course, your standard like make eleven trillion dollars. Right. Uh, let's see, I bought Aura yesterday, I think. I only put in like $36 because I'm just going to dump the whole thing again, you know, when this whole thing... Because now I have to actually, you know, look at this too, right? Because now that Bitcoin's flying high and Google actually corrected this because yesterday, right? That's when I... Yeah, I've been doing so many videos lately. Yeah, I, I know I checked it, right? I did a live on stream. They actually said it was zero. But they're actually getting data now, so it was just actually some kind of some kind of YouTube uh, Google problem. But I mean, this is still really low, right? And they're obviously going to have to update this because right now things are just moving fast. Okay, and a nice big buy there. Okay, the only thing I'm actually interested in really is their anti uh, anti whale anti dumping thing that they have. Okay, all right, so they have an auto burn of two point five percent. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not even going to bother looking at the max supply because all of these usually have... These are all basically copycats of Seifu's, you know, code, right? So that means they probably have a 3.25 billion, whatever, max supply. But I don't even care about that because we're never going to hit that... Like, if I dump this in like 10 months, right? Because I want to dump this bef a couple months in advance before the APY drop because... I still think that like once the APY actually does drop, you're going to see a massive dump on the token because that's what always happens in the past. So because it's like, well, I'm not earning any more money and then there's a new Seifu fork that pays me the same interest. So why should I hold the, the, the lower APY? I mean, I'm going to dump everything. So I want to get ahead, way ahead of that, way ahead of that. All right, because I know my stuff. I've been doing this. I've been investing for like decades. Jesus Christ, I'm actually that old? Yeah, I've been doing this basically since like 2000, right? Basically, as soon as I could turn like, you know, 18, right? And I had a little bit of money to play with, right? Of course, I lose a lot of money, right? In the Especially in the 2000, 2010, right? But, I mean, how else are you going to let that thing learn? All right? So, okay. Burn, burn, burn. I mean, I guess, I guess these coins eventually would be okay because they're going to act more like stores of value commodities essentially but at that point i'd rather just like you know go into like a new seifu for because it's a lot easier because again you can just go on fiverr and then just like hire somebody like you know a thousand to seven thousand dollars and create a new seifu for and that's all you have to do so but with that being said these are still decent medium term plays i right? put a little bit of money in pull it out in like 10 months and then, you know, turn a hundred bucks into like, you know, several tens of thousands of dollars, or right? Maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on the price. Right. Okay. Auto liquidity, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. You could read this. I don't really care. Okay. Every hour, ATL, I add more liquidity to pull on or to sell. They're talking any time with little, no market spread. Okay. So this means they're actually going, to... yeah. So this could be a problem for some people. I don't care personally, but, this is a lot of dumping pressure every eight hours, 
right? Because when they say add liquidity, they literally mean dump their token to, you know, oops, I hit the wrong button over here, to increase this, right? Your pooled whatever, right? And for whatever reason, they use USDC. So, uh, oh yeah, it should be known that this is a new project too. So, yeah. So we're breaking a lot of rules, but so far I haven't seen a rug pull yet. So that's why I only put $36 on it, especially because it's on AVAX. And right now, Krabata Games still keeps hogging up the entire effing gas supply. All right. In fact, it's probably, no, that's not the right one. Snow Trace. That's snowy. Oh, oh I didn't log into my MetaMask. So let me make sure I do that ahead of time. Switch to AVAX. Snow Trace. All right. Krabata Games, yeah, of course. Look, what I've been scrolling, I know it's going to be Krabata game, like 15 to 18%. Oh, jeez, wow. 22%. <laughs> Jesus. The good news is they are very well aware of it. So, you know, whenever they... I mean, I read that it's going to be actually early April. Now they're pushing back the stupid subnet. It's like, ugh. Oh, I just want, the, I just want Krabata game to get off the freaking AVAX C. So they keep... I've been paying. I've been paying a lot of money in gas fees. It's basically like Ethereum to me now. Which is very frustrating. <sighs> All right. Well, whatever. I mean, they're working on it. So, I, I, you know, unlike, say, Phantom, where if it was high gas fees, there's literally nothing I can do about it. Because I don't know what's wrong with the Phantom. I mean, we already know, right? I already rambled on it, but yeah. All right. Anyway, the, the SIPS system. So it's probably just another BS thing. 0.25% of circulating supply. Max amount of time that can be bought, held in a wallet. That's actually good. After six hours from launch, it will be raised to half a percent. Zero point zero five percent of circular supply selling ongoing transfer every twenty four hours. Uh, it will be raised to zero point one percent. Okay. Sorry. So this is. I don't feel like doing any math, but basically they're restricting you from dumping too much of the token, which really didn't really do much, I guess. Uh, but that's fine. I like it. You know, at least they're doing something. So buy is 14, sell is 18%. Okay. So this is a total tax rate of what? 32%. Okay. And then of course you see the breakdown of their thing. Yeah. Okay. And there's your 2.5% auto burn. Okay. Competitive advantages. Okay. Automatic. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So I assume that's their anti-dumping mechanism system right here. Okay. So that's fine. Auto stake A. So they can pay themselves to Libero and Titano. And yeah. And Libero is launching on Phantom uh, this coming Monday. This is also in, uh, includes uh, this coming Monday as well. Uh, Printer Financial on Polygon. Right. Because Polygon is going to become basically my next AVAX or Binance Smart Chain or Phantom. All right, Spe specifically because Sphere is on there. So my liquidity is pretty much at maximum there. So, you know. Oh, and speaking of pa paper real quick, I've actually noticed, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to do thorough research on once I have a, some free time, because I've been playing Escape from Tarkov lately, right? And I actually realized if I just do night raids, I can play exactly how I want. Just kill scabs, get a little bit of loot, and then just skedaddle, right? Because if I encounter a player, I'm like 100% going to die to him. Because I always run with like a shitty pistol, right? Because I'm because I'm cheap, right? I also am very low level, so I can't even kill anyone anyway if I wanted to. That that, that could sound so bad taken out of context, right? But uh, but yeah, Tarkov is just such a hard game, man. It's just a hard game. Yeah, actually, I got killed by someone who was using voice chat. He just trolled me, and then it's like, I don't I don't have voice chat when I play Escape from Tarkov. But it would have been fine to roleplay. Please don't kill me. I'll give you everything. Just just, just, uh, just just let me live so I can get, like, a little XP. And then he'll probably just react, ah, oh, fuck you. He kills my character. And that, I, bet, I bet there are clips on YouTube right now of, like, funny voice chat in Escape from Tarkov. Because... For whatever reason, it's so much funnier. I think it's because you have to be so invested in your character because you're, you know, you can lose all your gear and then you can gain all your gear. So, <laughs> yeah, that would be, yeah, there should be, I'm pretty sure there is, but there isn't. That's definitely going to be a really, you'll just make so much money, have so many views, and people will just watch that. It's, it's like, they'll never get old. All right, anyway, 
uh, manual buybacks. So Libro does that. Titan obviously is automatic. Manual token buyback. Yeah, Caesar actually does this too. Passive income NFTs. Okay, so I guess they have some NFT stuff, but they haven't. I haven't seen anything here. So anyway, like I said, I want to keep this short. Uh, so you can check out Aurora. All right, they're on ABAX, right? And they don't have any of the bells and whistles. This is also a relatively new coin. In fact, there's, I mean, my camera's covering, but there's a 24 hour warning. So they've been live for, at the time of this, basically 21 and a half hours. Well, with that being said, maybe it could be the next auto protocol, right? I actually added a little more auto to it because that thing just keeps going up. So, and I do like that uh, <coughs> Aurora. I'm just going to call it Aura. All right. Aurora, yeah. Aurora has six letters, but it has three syllables. That's why it's so hard to, like, very annoying to pronounce that word. So I'm going to call it Aura. So, but I really like that Aura has the, where is it? Yeah, I really like that they have this anti-dumping mechanism. So, you know, one of the reasons why I don't like Node projects, especially because 8 Universe, they, they talked with me and they basically just discarded most of my suggestions. Not surprisingly, their project is, keeps going down. And at this point, it's just like, look, I know what I'm talking about. So just listen to me and your chances of having a, a very successful project with a decent price, you know, goes way up, right? I can't guarantee anything, obviously. But... You know, I mean, I basically can because I know what works and what doesn't because I because now that I've been doing like millions of these videos, I can literally see, oh, this works, that doesn't work. What's the common what's the common denominator? What's the commonality in projects that work, projects that fail and projects that work that then have to endure the price correction when everything goes to shit like we just had. Right. With the whole Russia, Ukraine thing, especially, but still manage to maintain peg or maintain price or compared to everyone else better. So it, 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 it just gets annoying. And I'll tell you, that, no projects just suck. I just can't stand it. Even Playmates is down to like, what, five bucks now? And they actually have a very, they have a very good uh, closed supply system too, so it doesn't mint any new tokens. That's such a bad, uh, yeah, it's like, you know what, just just, just buy Titano or Titano Forks or hell, you can buy Seifu type projects like, you know, Aura over here or the next one, which is Web3. So anyway, this is, uh, let me see. Uh, I will use this as a thumbnail, hopefully. This is this thing is so, I know it's designed specifically to really catch your eye and be very distracting. Yeah, yeah. But I like that they didn't like, you know, put it throughout the whole web page because obviously you're, you're just not gonna read anything on the site. So anyway, you can check out Aura, all right? Or Aurora, all right? You know, just another Seifu fork. I ba I'm basically not doing too much research because I only put in 36 bucks, and so it just set and forget money for me. So even if they rug pull, I don't really care. All right, it's like, yeah, well, you know, I, I don't want, I almost said how much money I was making from Sphere, but there's a reason why I just don't care. All right, and that's the, that's really how you should invest. Put a little bit of money in, don't care about it, come back, and I mean, for the most part, it looks like most of these projects so far have not rug pulled. Right, so, you know. Uh, whatchamacallit. So again, you know, I, I consider a rug pull very different from a project that fails. Because a project that fails is legitimate, but because of incompetence, or they just don't know any better, right? Because, I don't know, I guess they don't know who I am yet. You know, the project fails. Usually Tomb Forks, right? But, you know, uh, a rug pull is where they actively try to scam you. So it's, a, it's about character intent, right? I don't mind projects that fail. Because <clears throat> at least you tried to do something, you know, the better yourself and everyone else's lives. And you just messed up. I mean, that's just how, that's just what humans do. We make mistakes. But if you're an actual thief, a scamming F-word asshole, and you pull the liquidity by literally stealing this thing, right? You know, well. Uh, I guess we should actually check to see if they did liquidity locks. Ah, uh, man, I really don't want this video to go much higher. I'm hoping maybe they updated it here. So, lock. Well, the only thing I get is this. Okay, lock. No rug pull. Liquidity is locked by whatever this is. We can't be, which, okay, this means you as a token holder always have a freedom. Okay, 
So team via, okay, so team finance, that's all this is, and this is their thing. Okay, so they do, so they did lock the liquidity. Problem is, how do I read this? All right, well, whatever, you guys can just look at their documentations, but they say it's locked, so I'm just gonna take their word for it. In fact, let's just go, what is team finance? Nice looking website. Oh, oh, well, thank you. I hope no one's using this token, right? Token symbol, that is. Liquidity logged is 92%. I know they have a check mark, too, so. Uh, okay, you actually do need to actually. They wrote the con. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, contract copy. Yes, this is their contract. So this is Aura. Uh, it will unlock in a little less than 30 days. All right, well, there you go. All right, so they locked the liquidity. So they can't. They cannot rug pull from this angle. So that's usually all that you really generally need. I, 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 I remember there was one particular instance where a project did rug pull, and they had locked the liquidity. So they, But they did it some through convoluted way. That's why I don't remember it. And like that's the only instance that I'm aware of, and that's the only one that was mentioned in the Elite Discord. So... All right, so you know, still treat everything as a scam, right? As I always say, don't invest everything into the project, of course. But you know, if you want to throw in a little money like I did, hey, thirty-six bucks, you know, hundred bucks. I would definitely not put any more than five hundred, a thousand, at, at this time, right? Because that's, you know, at that point, it's a little too much. Because remember, there's tons of projects. Just look at my YouTube channel, right? There's just like a million projects coming out. So it would actually be safer to spread your risk around. Right, because you really just don't know which projects will fly, like Sphere, and which ones will kind of just like do all right, like Caesar. Right, eventually Caesar will pop off. Right, once they you know get all their shit together. Right, because they're st they move very slow, which on one hand is good, but on the other hand we're seeing the negative effects of that. So, but they they seem to be legit. The announcements say they're making some big partnership plays, especially with Beyonce, like the company that runs her label or something. So. I don't know. I think I might build. I don't know. It's like I don't know. You, who who are you guys? Like, how do you all of, all of a sudden? Well, he said he's gonna get introduced to him. So I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Uh, and yeah, look, yeah, this this corrections are already getting bought up a little bit. So yeah. All right. I'll see you in the next video. I think it should be Web three. This could actually be the Russians buying this because you know Russia is now taking oil for the, uh, Bitcoin. They're taking Bitcoin for oil. So let me go back up here. All right, well, there you go. All right, check out our Aurora. I'll have the links, and I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, share this channel. Thank you to all the new people coming in. I'm starting to see that this YouTube channel is starting to fly, just like, hopefully, crypto. And don't worry, I'll, I'll take care of all of you, right? When this cryptocurrency shit, like, is about to implode, you know, I'm going to call it the same way I did in 2017, all right? I, you can go to my old YouTube channel. Actually, I think I hit, I hit in all those video so you can't see anymore right but i called the top very well all right i'm going to do it again this time around there may not even be ever a top right because you know because of what the federal reserve is doing all right so and of course greg manorino he, like uh, he'll also t uh, tell everyone too when he's going to dump his positions if he ever has to i mean there's just a lot of cr different crap happening this time around so it may not be like 2017 so we'll take it a day at a time see you next video thanks for watching oh man 23 and a half minutes Boy, it felt like 10 minutes.